Hey there, welcome back to Vino TV. Today I'm chilling out on the deck again. Beautiful summer afternoon, and uh, I was really jonesing for a beer. So I ran downstairs into the basement fridge trying to check out what I got to drink, and I came across Jack's Hard Cider. And I was like, rock on, baby. I have been sitting on this waiting to do a review for it, and today is the perfect day. You know, it's mid August. We just went through about two weeks of rain and maybe the high never escaped the 70s around here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And I was like, oh my gosh, is the summer actually over? And lo and behold, it's not. It's a high 80s today, and this was a perfect time to be drinking a nice ice-cold hard cider. Jack's Hard Cider, here's the can again, is produced by the people at Hauser Estate. You can check them out at hauserestate.com and also at jackshardcider.com. I've known the Hauser family for a little while. Uh, Jonathan there, Melissa, are great people. Hung out with them uh, in Lancaster. I also had an opportunity to meet their uh, newer winemaker. He's been there for almost two years now, and his name is Stephen Rigby, and the guy is just a tremendous talent and a huge addition to the Pennsylvania winemaking scene. But what really, really puts Hauser Estate on the map is this cider. Very unique product. Done 100% in Pennsylvania. Estate-grown apples as well as estate, I guess I'll call it bottled, the whole manufacturing and putting the whole thing together and getting it into the can is all done right there just outside of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and this is a fantastic product. So I've never reviewed uh, a hard cider before, so I had no idea what to talk about here. They sent me samples, uh, I want to say about six months ago, and I've been sitting on this, waiting for a prime time to talk about it. And like I said earlier, this is a beautiful day, and this is the time you should be enjoying a hard cider. It's thin, it's light, it's very crispy, and the apple and a little bit of pear comes right through the opening nose. It has just a small amount of carbonation, kind of tastes almost body and a flavor style like a, uh, like a uh, ginger ale, but it is absolutely refreshing. Only 5.5% alcohol, so it's not going to put you on your butt like a big-time craft brew or any of the IPAs or anything similar to that out there. This is quite refreshing. You can down two or three of these and, and totally enjoy your afternoon. So the hard cider comes from Hauser Estate, and it's named after Jack Hauser, and Jack Hauser is the patriarch of their whole family. Back in the late early's and early uh, uh, late 30s, excuse me, and early 40s, he actually moved his way up through the Musselman organization. Musselman, obviously famous for applesauce and their apple juice. He became president of the organization, and Musselman's just blew up from there into a household name as we know it. This is the patriarch of their family, so they wanted to name their cider right after that. And in 2008, they went into full production, a completely green facility as well. It's, being, it's not being bottled or capped. It's, everything's done in cans. Just an amazing product. And in a short period of time, they are distributed through three quarters of the state of Pennsylvania and in two or three other states, including the D.C., Baltimore, Maryland area. I mean, they are really, really getting this product out there. And it's really fantastic. It's refreshing, and you guys should check it out, especially you craft brew uh, people who are hobbyists to make your own beer, make your own cider, make your own meads. This is perfect, and this is for you. This is Jack's Hard Cider, and check them out at jackshardcider.com. Thank you to the guys at Hauser for, uh, for allowing me to uh, talk about this and sharing with me their fantastic product. I love it. I don't know how to rate cider, but to me, this couldn't be a better drink for me this afternoon. So to me, this is 93 points. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. Where's the dog? Sammy, where's my last can of cider? Oh no, bad doggy.